G'day everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to another Orange Students Social Media Minute. Now, I don't know if you've ever considered this, but thanks to social media, students are going to connect with your student ministry before they connect within your student ministry. So with that in mind, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how your social media should look in 2019. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Roll the bumper. Well, if this is your first time here, this is the place where we share social media tips and tricks to help make you more efficient and more effective at connecting with your students. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an episode. Okay, so what should social media look like in 2019? <laughs> Spat everywhere, all over the mic. Okay, so what should your social media look like in 2019? I mean, should you be spending all of your time on the Instagram grid or on IGTV or Instagram stories or on Twitter or Facebook or what? Well, the short answer is this. Focus on one channel and get that right. That, that, get that right. <laughs> Focus on that. I think my voice is breaking. That's weird. Well, the short answer is this. Focus on one channel and get that right before you even think about taking on another platform. And personally, I think Instagram is your best bet since this is the most popular social media channel for teenagers. So now you know you're gonna focus on Instagram. What should your channel look like? Well, it should look like your students. See, a lot of churches spend big money getting professional photography and special filters and stock images in order to impress people on social media. But including people is way more important than impressing people. So your Instagram should look like your students. They need to see themselves on your Instagram channel. They need to see their friends and their leaders and environments because posting pictures of people they know makes it personal to them. Try saying that five times fast. <sighs> posting pictures of people makes it personal. Posting pictures of people makes it personal. Posting pictures of people makes it personal. Posting pictures of pizza makes it pe posting pit posting picture picture posting pictures of pictures of Ah, uh, that was dumb. And make sure you tag the students in the photos so that they get notified and can share the post. Now keep in mind, you may need to get permission from a student's parent or guardian before you post their photo. And here's a bonus tip. How many times do you see church social media feeds that are filled with graphics and invites? Well, in 2019, I want you to put the social back into social media. Invite your students to conversations, not just to events. We'll talk more about that in the next video. So what's the practical takeaway for today? Simple, have a plan. Seriously, that's the practical takeaway. If you want your social media to look awesome and engage your students, then you have to sit down and create a content calendar. And guess what? If you use XP3, then we've already created the content calendar for you. We'll leave the details on how you can get that in the YouTube description below this video. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you for our next Social Media Minute.